Here are the best practices for safe and clean lasering. Good day, my name is Kai. Many laser makers are concerned about the safety issues of using laser machines, like how to take precautions and what kind of equipment you need to have, especially if you're new to the laser world. In this episode, I'm gonna explain in detail and put it into practice with X2 Safe and Clean Accessory Set. So today we're going to use the X2 D1 Pro laser machine as an example to walk you through the selection of accessories, protection of special materials, software operation, laser cutting project, and afterwards cleanup. During the demonstration, I'm going to highlight the safety considerations in each part. First of all, what kind of safety accessories do we need to choose before laser making? Very beginning, we need a aluminum base plate and honeycomb panel to put on the knees to prevent the damage to the desktop. The honeycomb design is to accelerate the discharge of smoke, thereby reducing the yellowing and blackening of the materials while cutting, and improve the final effect. On the other hand, the shape of honeycomb is going to play a role in heat dissipation, lowering the risk of fire caused by the excessive temperature. An air assist is also recommended for the laser cut process, which is going to blow away the thick smoke to reduce the yellow and black marks on the cutting edge. And that's also going to decrease the probability of fire even more. On top of that, a better airflow is going to help you make the cut deeper and keep the laser head cleaner to prolong its usage life. And now here comes this first CP set, which is going to detect the fire flame and release the CO2 immediately to extinguish the fire. At the same time, with the special power adapter, it's going to switch off the laser machine at the same time. Well, as you can see, a laser machine like the X2 D1 Pro has an open space to operate. So a safe enclosure is going to help you stop the rapid spread of smoke or the fire flame if there's one, as well as the noise generated during the laser process. At the same time, the enclosure is going to help you to form a relative airtight space to assist the fire safety set. The last thing is to add a smoke purifier to filter out the dense smoke and dust particles generated by the laser machine during the laser process and avoid harming our respiratory system. However, venting the exhaust filter gas to the outside is also recommended because this is going to minimize the unpleasant smell in our working space. So after installation, we're going to put plywood in and set the focus. By the way, it's better to wear a mask, even some professional gas mask. If the material we're cutting or engraving will produce a lot of smell and smoke, such as acrylic, rubber, plastic, artificial leather, etc. Okay, next let's move over to our software X2 Creative Space. Okay, let's open X2 Creative Space software. Make sure you connect to your device. Let's insert a shape, maybe this one and adjust the size. So we're gonna laser cut. We're gonna set the power at 100% and two millimeter per second for only one pass. Remember to choose laser flat, okay? And we're gonna hit framing and push the button on the machine. Okay, cool, everything's ready. And hit the start and one more time and push the button on the machine one more time. So attention, during any laser process, you need to be around the machine all the time to ensure everything is fine or can quickly react if something happens. So the cover of the enclosure can filter out the blue light. Technically, you don't have to wear the goggles if there's an enclosure. But if you don't have enclosure, it's better to wear the X2 safety goggles. Gonna protect your eyes from the dial laser, also the infrared laser. If you want to learn how to laser engrave a chessboard with our laser machines, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have so many tutorials waiting for you. During the process, just in case something wrong with the laser machine, like the laser heads hits the edge or get stuck or cast a certain point for a long time and cause a fire, or the alarm is triggered, we need to quickly switch off the laser machine first and put out the fire immediately if we find one. Besides the fire safety set, you need to prepare some firefighting equipment nearby, just in case. Okay, it's done. Firstly, you need to turn off the laser machine and move the laser head away. Remove the material pins. Let's take out the project. It looks quite fine. Wow. 
As for debris, you can just use a portable vacuum cleaner to suck them away. You can see some on the top and there are more in the holes. Yeah, let's just clean them up. Alright, after you finish the whole thing, please remember to switch off the laser machine before leaving. Plus, it's imperative, it doesn't matter which laser machine brand you purchase, like X2 or other fellows, please strictly follow the user manual, especially the safety part. If you have any questions or tips of using laser machine, please comment below. And I hope you enjoy using X2 laser machine and safety accessories. Bye bye!